Yeah, hello again, YouTubers. Thanks for coming back. This is Terry from my cottage up north. I'm at a little lake in, I think it's Langley County. Might be O'Connell County, but I think it's Langley County. It's called Ada Lake. They got just a little beach, and you'll see that as I metal detect it. This is my Garrett AT Pro metal detector. I have another smaller one that I use at different times, mostly for coin shooting, but essentially that's all you do now is coin shoot around here because there isn't much left to do. Any of the land that might be good is pretty much uh, on private land and you can't get permission. So. so I just hit these little beaches. This is at a campground. And uh, so we're going to go out and metal detect it. And then uh, probably take a little break. And then I'm probably going to metal detect the, the side hill, which I'll set you up so you can see that. And, uh, but that's just something to do. And it was a nice drive over here from Townsend, so. But I enjoy it. You never get rich up here doing it, that's for sure. I went metal detecting yesterday at two other beaches. Unfortunately, there were so many people around, I couldn't video. Uh, I picked up a dollar eighty-seven cents, I think it was, in change off the beach. Actually, two different beaches. One of the beaches I used to metal detect. It was probably two hundred yards wide to the water, and now it's about fifty yards wide. I don't know if it's just the high water or the beach eroded away or what, but there's almost nothing left to metal detect on it anymore. So they aren't as good as they used to be. When they get like that, then the people quit coming to them. And when the people quit coming, then they start losing things uh, or stop losing things, you know, so. But I, uh, like I said, I think I got $1.87 or something like that. It's just something to do. And then uh, I found a little necklace. It's just a cheap one, but kind of neat to find. So, we're going to get metal detecting and then I'll, uh, I'll talk to you again before we leave. Maybe I'll, I think I'll videotape a little bit of the campground here as I leave. It's a beautiful little campground of back in the woods. Uh, pit toilets, of course, but uh, they got running water and they, uh, there's a lot of people here camping, but nobody down here by the beach today. Most of the people that come to places like this are older people. They don't bring kids too often. Sometimes, I like a weekend. This is midweek. This is what I'm on. It's Wednesday, so it's a pretty quiet time up here right now. All right, I'm going to get metal detected and put this jabber jaw on and uh, see if we can find anything. Talk to you later.
Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> well, that was a bust. I'm back in the car. That was a bust. There's just nothing there. So we're going to head home, catch a little lunch, and then I got another one I want to try. I'll take you along for that. But as promised, I'm going to set you up in my window so that you can see the campground as I leave. Gotta get that off because YouTube won't like it. It's a pretty little campground. I don't know how much you can see of it. It's very wooded. There's people on both sides. I can swing you back over to this side. There's people on both sides camping. I think it's kind of cool. When I was younger, we used to do the same thing, go to these little campgrounds like this, and like they say, check out Wisconsin, you'll never know what you're going to find. This is all part of the Nicolay National Forest, and uh, people that want to get away and camp, this is the places they go. I was about halfway in when I when I parked the metal detect, so you're only going to see about half of the campground. It makes a big circle. There's, uh, like I said, there's two or, two or three places where there's pit toilets. Some people don't like them, but if you got to do your business, that's what, what you got to do. Some people stay here quite a while. This one here, they've been here a while. They've got it pretty well figured out that they got lots of wood. So this is called Ada Lake Campground. I don't know if it's a reservation system or if it's first come first serve. That I don't remember. I don't know, but it's just a cute little campground out in the woods. Ada Lake, you're on Ada Lake, that's where we were metal detecting, and there's somebody registering right now. All right, that was it. Yeah. If you're looking for paved roads, this isn't it. It's all gravel. So you get it back out to Highway 52. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it, no, that's not Highway 52. It's just it's like a another service road, and then it's Highway 52. All right. There's another little lake that's in the side road to the right there that's called Glade Lake, but uh, pretty much the only thing there is a boat launch and a rough boat launch. I wouldn't put any thinking about putting any big boats in there. Day before yesterday, we had quite a wind come through, so every once in a while you'll see on the side of the road there's a tree laying close to the road and stuff. That's all stuff that blew down a couple days ago. They did pretty good. They get in here right away and they cut it off the road so you can get in and out. No, you're just doing a nice little ride through the woods. And I understand this isn't for everybody. Some people want all the conveniences of home and some people like rustic camping.
this is what it's called. I'll get you over here so you can see it, hopefully. Uh, Ada Lake, Nicolay National Forest. Just about home. back home. Yesterday I drove in like this and there was a, a doe standing right out in the road. A young one. I think uh, mama must have kicked it out. Alright, we're back. Well, YouTubers, we're down here at Boulder Campground. Unfortunately, there wasn't much. I found a quarter and two nickels, that's it. And I couldn't video because there's too many of the campers down by the beach. And I don't want to put people's faces on unless they're okay with it, so. But, it wasn't much. I'll try to take a picture out the back window just to show you what the beach looks like. I think you'll be able to see it. Oops. And there's still a bunch of people out there. One thing I found is a metal detector is a, is a kid magnet. There's a kid within, a, I think, 200 yards. They'll be standing over your shoulder in a minute. So, I metal detected. I had to put my earphones on so I didn't disturb anybody. But, eh, it's for the fun of it. I don't care. I had a nice lady talk to me today here that she said she always wanted to do that in her younger day of years, but she never did it. I said, well, you missed out because it's a fun hobby. But we're going to head home and I'll turn you around. So I, I don't know if you'll be able to see any of the campground as I'm leaving or not, but let's turn you around and see. Well, I guess I can go up into the campsites. We'll do that. Again, it's pretty much the same. This is Boulder Lake Campground, another National Forest Campground. I should turn it down a little bit now. Got yeah, the car is pretty high. They turned the air conditioner up full. Now I can turn it down. But as the other one, they're, they're both about the same. They come in with some big stuff, a big coach, some trailers, tents, you name it. They're, everything is welcome here. And this one's a little different in the fact that it's got a building here. I don't remember what that is. Oh, that's bathrooms. Full service bathrooms. No, not pit toilets. Well, that's nice. Well, I don't know which way I should go here. I'm going to take a left. I don't remember which is which. I don't know if he's coming in or going out. <laughs> Can't tell. I think this is how I get out of here. Yeah, it is. I don't remember. I do not enter. Okay. That's where I just came out of. So this one should be the right way here. But if you like trees, Nicolay National Forest is it. I mean, everything and anything for trees.
Put your hands in there and make sure that it doesn't stick to shit. At this campsite, they have hosts that they hire for the summer and they stay at the campground all summer to help people or collect the money and all kinds of stuff. Now let's go down by the boat launch and see what it looks like. I might want to come up here and go fishing, I don't know. Few people here, a couple. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like a fairly nice one. I'm gonna walk down there, I think. I'll pull off here so I'm out of the way. We'll take you along. Well, this is Boulder Lake. I was just talking to some nice people there and and he said that they catch mostly bluegills here, so maybe it's something I'll have to try. They're just putting their boat in. See, we're just down from the beach, where I was before. And there's a walking path between the two. It's a nice little lake. You may have to try this. Looks like a sandbar out there where those people are. I don't know if you can see that or not. But All right. All right, I think we're going to head for home. Well, I just talked to some more nice people, and uh, the consensus is the same. Nobody's catching fish anywhere this year. They said they've been to two or three different lakes, and they haven't done nothing out here. They did nothing. So... I'm still looking for a place to fish, <laughs> but it was a nice ride down here, and I punched around, did a little metal detecting, and now we're going to head for home. It's getting that time. It's almost, it's after four already, so I probably, this will probably be the end of the video, and I thank you. If you stayed this long, thank you, and if you liked uh, the video, a thumbs up would be great. If you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe, it helps my channel. And if you want to be notified of future videos, hit that little bell, and then uh, YouTube will let you know when I put up a new one. Until then, we'll probably get back to more of the mundane stuff around the cottage. Or if we find a place to go fishing, I'll take you along when we go fishing. But other than that, you have a good day, and be safe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.